Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing March favorites. So I'm just gonna be sharing with you some favorite products and favorite songs and fashion clothes and perfumes. Okay, that was long. I'm just gonna be showing you certain things that I've been liking this month. So let's just go ahead and get started. <sighs> March was a very hectic, but very kind of cool and relaxed month. It's my birthday month. I was born on March 24th. So yeah, thank you guys so much for all your birthday wishes. It really made me happy and I really appreciate that, that you're thinking of me on my birthday. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some makeup products that I've been liking. This one. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and this is the loose one. If you guys saw my recent tutorial, I use this to bake under my eyes. I've been really liking that technique lately because under my eyes, I have these little wrinkles. Like what the heck? I'm 17. I have wrinkles under my eyes. Like I'm not even close to being a grandma. And I always used to get creasing under my eyes and I hated how it looked. It looked so crepey and crusty and creasy. I was like, no, this needs to stop. Like, this needs to go. I've been watching Jaclyn Hill's makeup tutorials or anyone's makeup tutorials and they always bake. I always see baking, like saw these on Twitter, like this is like a trend. So I was like, okay, I need to hop on this. Like, so I bought the powder. It was $38, I think, kind of expensy, but it's so worth it. I love how it leaves my under eyes. Don't get as much creasing, not that bad, but hey, I mean, what are you gonna do about it? It's skin, it's not like I'm gonna get Botox. Maybe in the future, we'll think about it. This, this month was like the month for me for winged liner. This is the first time I ever tried attempting winged liner. No, I'm just kidding. I've tried attempting winged liner using liquid pens, and let me just tell you, I honestly look like like, it was just, like, not cute. It looked like a little fishtail. And, of course, you guys know my obsession with Jaclyn Hill. And every time she does a winged liner, she uses this Maybelline Eye Studio. So, I bought it, like, a long time ago. And I never touched it. Finally, it's spring break. So, I was like, okay, you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna get out of our comfort zone. We're gonna use this gel liner. And I did. And I use tape. It's okay for using tape. It's... People give a lot of flack about using tape for eyeliner. Whatever. I'm a beginner. It's not, like... I'm this amazing artist, like, no, I need to use tape, girl, sorry. So I did it, and I also use this Morphe M160 brush to put on my eyeliner. It's just a little, small, fine, angled brush, beauty guru status, but it just looks like that, and I loved how it turned out. It has worked well for me. I like how it looks. If you don't, that's okay, that's cool, that's your opinion. I have another eyeliner to talk about. This is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof. Poof? Waterproof. Waterproof liner. This is so creamy. It goes on like a dream. Now I have two lip products to talk about. They're both from NYX, actually. Uh, this first one is the NYX Liquid Suede Lip... Liquid... Okay. I always get tongue twisted in this. It's just a NYX Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Soft Spoken. I don't think I've talked about this in a favorite video. I don't think I have, but I'm wearing it on my lips today of the color. It's dark. Even though it's spring, I really like it. I really like the texture. It doesn't feel, it's not too dry. A lot of liquid lipsticks are really dry, but this one isn't. It just feels really nice and just really creamy on the lips. Really like this. Then lastly for makeup products, I have a lip gloss. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme... Ah, oh, I always get tongue twisted when I say this. Creme Brulee. Creme... <laughs> I, you know... I don't know. The guy from High School Musical, whatever he bakes, that's what it's called. I love this gloss. Like, I used the one from L'Oreal, and I mean, like, it was nice for the first five minutes, but then after, it would, like, dry. It would dry. Like, you're supposed to be glossy. You're supposed to shine on my lips. You're not supposed to make my lips look crackly and dry. Like, no thank you. I was on the hunt for a new lip gloss. I really want to get the Marc Jacobs lip gloss, and they seem to be really good. Um, also, the Buxom lip glosses. Those are really pretty, but I was like, no girl, like, I gotta save that money though. I was like, okay, let's just try this. Cincy is so beautiful, it is not sticky on the lips. That is like my thing. If a lip gloss is sticky on my lips, I'm like, no, throw it away. Bye, like, you're not going back on my lips. This is not sticky at all. I love the consistency. It feels so nice on the lips. This is a good lip gloss. If you're looking for a drugstore lip gloss, I would say buy this. It's not sticky, great formula, really pretty color. I'll do a little swatch for you guys because that is how I obsessed I am. Like, it's like a perfect gloss. Uh, I love it. Yes. 
Okay, now moving on to perfumes. This is a oldie but a goodie. This is the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, LOL. This is <laughs> the One Direction Our Moment perfume. I've had this forever. Well, I recently got a compliment from my friend's brother and he's like, Ronnie, you smell really nice. I was like, thanks, that's One Direction. I'm sorry, I can't describe scents well. It just smells really good. If you have a chance, go smell it. It's a really pleasant smell quite florally. I don't even know what I'm saying. It's just really good. Now for fashion favorites, they have to be bodysuits. I love bodysuits. They're so easy, so comfortable to wear. So I have two. This first one is from, or they're both from Tilly's. And this one is just black and it kind of has like a mock turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. As you can't tell, I'm wearing one right now. No, no, they just look so classy and so sophisticated. And I'm just like, oh, look at me. I'm wearing turtleneck. I'm so model off duty. Basic black. It's really simple to wear. It's really simple to style. And then I also have this black one. And it just, t oh, that's not cute. I probably should have fixed that. And it's just black and it ties down. Now, favorite part of monthly favorites. Last month, I forgot to add music, which I was really sad about because I love listening to people's like favorite music. So we're gonna dive into my favorite musics, musics, my favorite songs of the month. First one, Pillow Talk by Zayn Malik, or he doesn't go by Zayn Malik, by Zayn. I love this song. Climb on Oh, 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 bad word. <laughs> Next song that I have been really liking is called For You by Black Bear. The 1975 came out with their new album, and let me just tell you, it's beautiful. Go listen to it. Two songs that I really like is, I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Ugh? Ugh? I don't know. It's U-G-H exclamation point. I love this song. It's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, and then the last song, Don't Judge Me. I This is the song that I like to you to. Like, I just go ham. This is my song. My friends are probably so annoyed with me because I always request this song. Just... Uh, okay. <laughs> so that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Join the family. We are halfway to a thousand subscribers and that is our goal. So if you want to be part of that, then subscribe. It is completely free. And don't forget to like if you like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.